Yes, people, it's your boy Fred Stones. Thanks for passing by the channel. Guys, I'm always forever grateful to you guys and them things there. I love you guys. I wish, like, on a, on days like today, we could just go to the park and just talk about these topics over a cucumber sandwich and them things there. You know what I'm saying? Over those tuna or ham sandwich. You know? <laughs> Whoever does ham and them things there. Man, don't do that. Stuff a lot. But, yeah. Anyway... Guys, imagine Gela Ekinsu, yeah? Gela Ekinsu, the Love Island winner, along with, obviously, her partner, Davide. Davide, remember Davide? You are a liar. You are an actress. My man, yeah? Anyway, like, Gela Ekinsu, Ekinsu just signed the biggest, biggest, biggest clothing deal in Love Island history. I'm talking big. She's big on the roads. Big like elephant. Big like Bigfoot and them things there. This girl is humongous. I'm telling you, she just signed this deal... It's with some company called Opoly, Opoly, Apoly never heard of them. You know them ones there? <laughs> I don't know who they are. They might be big. Some of you might be in the comments like, oh, Apoly this, but I'm not going to lie. Never heard of them. I don't care who the company is. They could be selling flipping batty sanitizers. And if they offer me a good deal, man's taking that. You know them ones there? She took the deal. <laughs> eh, King Sue. Eh, King Sue. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. This girl, she will chop. She will be chopping. She's about to have more cake than Mr. Kipling's and them things there. That is crazy to think, yeah. She's gonna have the biggest clothing deal in the in the show's history. Remember a girl like Molly May? She just gone past Molly May like a hitchhiker and them things there. Molly who? <laughs> Remember when the girl said Ekin who? Ek Where is she? Y'all probably work in a kebab shop or something. Do you know what I'm saying? Natalia, that's her name. But, yo, Ekin's doing bits. That's all I'm saying, isn't it? Apparently, she had bare deals on the table. Bare people offering her all sorts of deals and them things there. She had more deals than Black Friday. That's what the word is on the streets. Wallahi, that's what I heard in them things there, yeah? And she's going with old Polly, because it Polly fits her brand and them things there. She likes whatever they stand for and all that stuff. This girl went from literally calling around the terrace, uh, the, the villa like Peter Parker, like flipping Steve Irwin when he's about to catch a flipping alligator and them things there, to doing big bits like this. Nah! She's an inspiration still. She's big. Inspo. She says she's had the best week of her life and her dreams are coming true in them things there. <laughs> I bet they are. Fam, if my dream, yo, if man had a mill, yeah, yo, man's buying some KFC bargain buckets and them things. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> but yeah, she signed the deal. She's working on her line and she's gonna be dropping a line soon, like a fishmonger, like Luca and them things there. And yo, when she drops, and I know it's going to sell out like hotcakes, and it's going to sell out. Ekin, Ekin's fans, yeah. Ekin's got mad fan base. She came out of the villa with like 2.6 million followers. That is nuts. That is coconuts, I'm telling you. And her fan base, yo. Bro, they think her pop, yeah, smells of potpourri and them things there. They think, like, she's, she's like, Mother Teresa or something. Like, she's the second coming or something. Yo, they treat her like, if you look at her wrong, I swear down, they're mashing you up. There's going to be tables and chairs and furniture moving and them things there. They're not having it. They're called, like, I can't remember what they're called, but she's got bare fans. This girl, yeah, she's adored. she got bare stands. Bare Stanleys and them things there. So, Ekin Sue, man knew it from the villa, how she just captured the whole nation and everyone knows it. If it wasn't for her, this season would have been dead. Fam, she carried this whole season on her back like Santa Sack and them things there. Without her, this season would have been, yo, crickets, dead, absolutely dead. So anything she gets, she deserves it. This girl, she's a star. People are saying she's an actress. Whether she's an actress or not, yeah, she came in there and set that place on fire. Arsonist vibes. You know them ones there? Eh, King Sue. Eh, King Sue. <laughs> Now, nah, rate her still. I wish her all the best, man. Good luck to her. But yeah, guys, don't forget, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Comment, share, like, all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Gang business, your boyfriend Stones.